Following reports of signs of life and banging sounds, rescue teams have increased their optimism in finding the Titan V, a crew aboard a lost submarine on an excursion to the Titanic catastrophe. A Canadian aircraft participating in the extensive search effort to find the missing Titanic tourists reported banging in the region where the submarine vanished at intervals of 30 minutes. Emails written to the U.S. Department of Homeland Security and obtained by Rolling Stone mention the hammering. There is reason for hope, the Explorers Club president Richard Garriott DKU stated in a social media message on Tuesday night. In a statement, he said, Based on data from the field, we understand that likely signs of life have been detected at the site. We have much greater confidence that one there is cause for hope. Officials haven't validated the allegations or claimed to have located the crew who have been trapped in the deep Atlantic Ocean since the submersible started on Sunday and abruptly lost touch with others, so it's unknown when the pounding sounds occurred. RCC Halifax deployed a P-8, Poseidon, which has underwater detecting capabilities from the air, the DHS letter stated reported a contact in a location near to the distress position. Every 30 minutes, the P-8 could hear pounding noises in the neighborhood. Additional sonar was deployed four hours later, and thumping could still be heard. The document doesn't specify the reason or date of the hammering. Added Garriott DKU the U.S. Coast Guard exactly understands the experienced personnel and tech we can deeply, according to the Explorers Club, and believes they are doing everything possible with all resources they have. Billionaire Hamish Harding, one of the five men on board, was a founding member of the Explorers Club's Board of Trustees. The organization claimed to have direct access to the White House, the Coast Guard, the Air Force, and Congress. The Joint Rescue Coordination Center is attempting to locate an underwater remote-operated vehicle through partner organizations to possibly help, according to a DHS notice. Sounds were also mentioned in an email from the head of the Explorers Society, a travel and research organization, that was issued Tuesday afternoon and obtained by Rolling Stone. The statement added, it is being reported that at 2 a.m. local time on site, Sonar detected potential tapping sounds at the location, implying crew may be alive and signaling. The Titan, a missing Ocean Gate submersible, lost touch with the mothership on Sunday morning as it descended to the shipwreck, and a large search operation is still going on to discover it. It could be stuck, according to Rear Admiral John Mauger, who is assisting in organizing the search. On Tuesday, Mauger stated, We don't have equipment on site that can do a survey of the bottom. It will be challenging to find it because there is a lot of rubbish. We're concentrating on attempting to find it right now. The bottom of the Atlantic Ocean, according to Royal Navy Rear Admiral Chris Perry, is as black as being in space, and there is also a lot of muck and other debris being carried up. With searchlights, you can only see approximately 20 feet in front of you. You are being propelled by incredibly powerful ocean currents. The five occupants of the fatal mini-sub will remain in complete darkness in a temperature of about 3 coulombs 37 farads if the power has been gone, and there are no functional heaters, lights, or propellers. Where is it? said oceanographer and Titanic authority David Gallo. Is it submerged, floating, or in the middle of the water? That is something that is still up in the air. The depth of the water exceeds two kilometers. It's like traveling to another world. It is chilly, gloomy, and under high pressure. The main issue is that Titan, a submersible, can no longer broadcast signals, making it very hard to find. The last sonarping it was scheduled to send to mothership Polar Prince was at 9. 45 m on Sunday, an hour and 45 minutes into the dive when it was floating directly over the Titanic radar and GPS are not functional underwater. The Titanic tour provider Ocean Gate Expeditions called the Coast Guard on Sunday, but for some reason it took eight hours. At 5.40 p.m., it was reported to the U.S. Coast Guard, and at 9.13 p.m., it was warned to the Canadian Coast Guard. Billionaire Hamish Harding, CEO of Action Aviation in Dubai, as well as Shahzada Dawood, 48, a based board member of the Prince's Trust Foundation, and his son Suleiman Dawood, 19, are among those participating in the trip. The projected time for the submarine's oxygen supply is 96 hours, 
giving search and rescue crews till Thursday am to locate the sub. Ocean Gate, who began diving to the Titanic in 2021, is under scrutiny after it was discovered the Titan had electrical damage and had to be repaired since it was unable to survive the water before it sank, while families wait in agony for news. According to information published by the Daily Mail, Com yesterday, the tourist firm in charge of the missing submersible also hesitated eight hours to notify the Coast Guard after it lost communication an hour and 45 minutes into its descent on Sunday. A fleet of U.S. and Canadian rescue ships and planes, as well as an increasing number of private vessels, had arrived at the location by yesterday. The U.S. Coast Guard's Captain Jamie Frederick made the following statement while speaking at the search center in Boston. Those search efforts have not produced any results. However, several commercial ships equipped with specialized underwater drones sent them down last night. The missing crew and their loved ones were given Mr. Frederick's most sincere thoughts and prayers, and he assured them that they were doing everything possible. He did, however, acknowledge that the rescuers were in the dying stages. I don't know the answer to that question, he said in response to the query even with that amount of time left, if you were to find the submersible at this moment, would that give you enough time to save those five people on board? All I know is that we will exert every effort to arrange rescue. Titan was one of the only ships in the world capable of reaching the Titanic debris, which is located at a height of 12,500 feet. Even nuclear submarines are unable to travel so deep safely. According to Mr. Frederick, deep-sea diving experts are aiding Coast Guards in the unique and challenging mission. He told reporters while standing dockside that getting salvage equipment on the spot was a key priority. The top professionals are present despite the huge machinery and complexity. The specialists will consider the best strategy for retrieving the sub if it is found. The five passengers can use the decompression chamber if they are transported to the surface. It has been revealed that a thrill-seeker who had planned to accompany millionaire Hamish Harding on the missing Titanic submarine backed out of the dive because he believed Ocean Gate was cutting too many corners. According to a Tuesday night story in The Sun, Chris Brown, 61, paid the money to board the ship but claims he later changed his mind after learning about the vessel's PO technology and construction materials. Using old scaffolding poles as ballast and having controls based on computer game-style controllers were two of his worries about Ocean Gate. Despite being one of the first people to sign up for this trip, he told the newspaper that he finally concluded the risks were too high. Mr. Brown continued by expressing his really upsetting feelings for Hamish, one of the Titan's five now missing passengers. After having a few beers while on vacation at Sir Richard Branson's Necker Island, Mr. Brown and Mr. Harding decided to join up for the 80,000 pounds cruise. He said that when the Titan was still under construction, the couple paid the 10% deposit for the trip, which has now more than quadrupled in price. Mr. Brown, however, said that he discovered Ocean Gate had missed crucial objectives while testing the submersible's depth in the years that followed. The multimillionaire digital marketing mogul was alarmed to see that the ship was being piloted by a PlayStation controller that had been modified. It is also believed that he was concerned about the technological difficulties and setbacks that occurred during the development process. I discovered they used old scaffolding poles for the sub's ballast, he told the Sun. You could definitely use used scaffold poles to make your own submarine. However, this was a commercial vessel. Mr. Brown ultimately wrote Ocean Gate and requested a refund, claiming he is not one to shy away from risk. He expresses concern for his friend but claims that Mr. Harding is not the anxious sort. Keeping extremely calm, he thinks the billionaire is probably processing plans, schemes, and ideas through his enormous brain. Mr. Harding, according to Mr. Brown, will be providing hope to the other passengers.